Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to reset an iPhone. There are more than one way to reset an iPhone and it's important you know this. So we're going to go through this in this video to make sure you know the correct way. So you don't have to delete everything if you don't have to. If you're having a problem with your phone and you just need something fixed, there are other options than deleting everything. However, if that's not the case and you do need to delete everything, I have that for you as well. I'll have everything timestamped at the bottom so you can skip ahead as we go. But I know your time is important, so let's get started. Welcome everybody, my name is Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tools, and app discovery, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. <laughs> so here is my iPhone and I'm going to go over three different resets. So first, we're just going to say we're having a small, weird problem with the phone. Something's going on. You've tried restarting the phone and it's still an issue. You can try closing out of things by pushing up and to the right of the phone or double tap the home button, depending on which phone you have, and then simply swipe up to close something. We're going to assume that you've closed everything, you've restarted the phone and the issue is still happening. The next thing you can do is what's called a network reset. To do that, what you'd want to do is go ahead and choose settings, choose general, scroll to the bottom, click transfer or reset iPhone, click reset. And here you have your different options of what to do. Here you would want to go ahead and reset your network settings. This is something that you're not going to notice a lot of difference from your phone. However, it will go through and reset and give you a good chance of getting rid of whatever the problem is. Now, if you're having a problem with your keyboard, you can also reset your keyboard here, your home screen layout, and also your location and privacy. We're going to assume that reset network settings did not take care of the issue. So the next option would be reset all settings. So you would do the same thing, go into settings, then general and transfer reset iPhone. And we're going to choose reset all settings. Here it's going to go ahead and ask for your passcode to reset the settings. And after you do this, a lot of your settings may be removed. However, you're not going to lose any data or any apps specifically on this reset. This is kind of just a reset before the complete factory reset. Once you enter that, it'll go through and allow you to. Now, if that doesn't work, then you do have another option and it's this one that says erase all content and settings. However, before you get a little click happy and click on that, let's talk about this. So if you are having a problem, you have done everything else, you can do this. However, you wanna make sure everything's backed up. So let's go ahead and look at everything and make sure it's backed up. We're gonna go out of general, we're going to go out of settings. You're going to click on the part that says Apple ID, basically your iCloud features. The first thing that we want to do in here is go ahead and click on iCloud. We want to make sure there is an iCloud backup. You can also back this up on a computer, but nowadays most people just use the cloud because it's much easier. Sometimes you have to pay for it if you need to. I believe it's 99 cents and then 299 for the plan that I have, which is 200 gigs. So the more space you need, the more you'll pay monthly. But to me, I don't think it's that bad of a cost. So I just pay the $2.99 a month right now. I have a lot of pictures and they're very important to me. So I don't want to lose them. What we want to do here is we want to click on iCloud Backup and want to look at the date. It's from yesterday, 705. So if I wanted to go ahead and delete this phone or anything, I want to make sure it's backed up and I want to make sure it's time stamped today and make sure if I made any changes since then that it's been backed up by them. So what you want to do is click backup now. Keep in mind you want to be on Wi-Fi if you can because if you have a lot of data it's going to take longer. If you can't get on Wi-Fi just go ahead and give it a try. As long as you have signal it should still go through and back up. It just may take a little longer. Once this backup is successful we want to go out of here and we want to go back again. Go to find my you don't want to have the Find My iPhone if you're giving the phone to somebody else. If you're keeping the phone, leave it on. It's fine. But if you're giving it to someone else or selling it, 
make sure you turn that off. And we're going to turn off Find My iPhone. Once you turn off that option, it's probably going to ask you for your passcode. Go ahead and put that in. Finally, you want to go back one, scroll down to where your phone is. And again, if you are getting rid of the phone or giving it to someone else, click sign out on the bottom and it'll sign you out of your iCloud. That way you're out of Find My Phone, you're out of iCloud, and you are backed up. Now with that, we want to go back here, go back into General, scroll down, transfer or reset iPhone, and you want to click Erase All Content and Settings. Make sure you are backed up with your iCloud or a computer before you do that. If you do not back up, you will lose what is on your phone. If you backed up a month ago and you didn't back up since, after you do this, you're going to get stuff from a month ago. Sometimes that's better, sometimes it's not. It depends on what you're looking for. Once you click Erase All Content and Settings, it is going to ask for your passcode. It'll ask you to erase iPhone, and then again it'll pop up and say Erase iPhone again. I recommend not having this plugged in when you reset it. A lot of people think there's no problems. I've reset, I don't know, several thousand, and I noticed if I have them plugged in at times, it gets a little wacky sometimes. I've lost several phones that way, and I no longer plug it in that way. I make sure there is some charge, though, before I go through and do this. You don't want to be doing this on 0%. If your battery is just shot, you know, take the chance and go ahead and plug it in and do it that way. After it's reset, it's going to turn off. You're going to see a black screen with a white bar go across. It does take a while, depending on the phone. The newer the phone, the quicker it'll be. And it also depends on how much data you have. Once it is done resetting, it'll come up to the manufacturer default, and you'll then be able to log in and start your phone like you just got it brand new. The Find My iPhone should be off if you turned it off. The iCloud should be off if you turned that off. And the only way that you would have any problems and or anything like that if it was like a company-owned phone, a lot of times they put them in these certain programs. So if you do delete it, they know and you need their information to go further. If that's the case and it is a company phone, you're going to want to let your company know and the IT guy can set it up there with whichever system is being used. A lot of times they can do this remotely and it's really nice so you don't have to go to them, but there are some cases where you will need to go in person and hand them the phone to get it set up. That is how to reset a phone correctly with the new software. And I hope everything I said answered every question you have. If not, please leave them down below. And if anyone else sees a question, if you can answer it, or if I do, I will try to do my best and get the answer for you. I want to thank you so much for the view. If you would like a free iPhone guide, you can go to free iPhone guide under helpfultutorials.net. I've changed this website around. I'm now just giving it for free. You don't need to sign up or anything. You can just download it. Here's the image. It takes you quickly through all the steps that you need to go ahead and get your phone set up. So it's good to have this. It's just a picture, an image that you could keep on your phone. If there's more than one person in your house, you may want two people to have it. That way, if one phone breaks, you can still see it there. I'm going to leave it up here, but if you're interested, check out helpfultutorials.net.